Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another project. Don't mind the hat, I think the wind chilled outside is about 16 degrees, so I am not leaving the confines of the garage today. Um, our project today though is installing a new bench vise. I'm really excited, just got back from the hardware store. Um, I'll walk you through the steps of putting it in, but uh, let's see if I can turn the camera around here. As you can now see, Ignore the trash bag. I am getting the garage together. Finally have some organization going on. Um, so hopefully this will help with uh, streamlining some content here in the future. Slowly getting things more organized. But here's the task of the day. We have a six inch bench vise made by Central Forge. Um, you can grab these at Harbor Freight actually. And I think this was about $50 or so. Um, it is also favorably reviewed by Project Farms. Uh, I don't know if you follow that guy's channel, but it's definitely worthwhile. He has a ton of great product reviews and really you know, handy stuff if you're just looking to buy new equipment or any, any sort of tools. So uh, we'll walk you through the steps of getting this guy installed. I, have, uh, I think I have, know where I wanna put it. Let's get started. All right, so this bench vise, uh, out of the box, it really just comes with a, a super basic set of instructions. Uh, there is no mounting hardware, uh, so I did have to run out, um, and I got half-inch uh, carriage bolts, actually, I believe these are, um, to anchor this to my desk, my workbench here. Um, the jaws open about six inches. There is a area for an anvil here on the back. Uh, this will spin 360 degrees all the way around. Um, and it has locks on either side like this to prevent it from swiveling. Uh, the one thing I did note out of the box is that the swiveling of this is kind of stiff. So I just sprayed a little bit of lithium grease around this, uh, this like collar here. Um, and it really seemed to help loosen it up quite a bit. Now it spins much more freely. Um, the, the plan here is to mount this on the corner of my workbench. Uh, there are, if I spin this around, you should be able to see it here. There are three uh, mounting holes here. There's one on this side, one on the front, and then one in the, one in the back underneath. Um, so I would like this to be on the end of my desk, or end of my bench here rather, in a position where I can use it on the front side of the bench, and if I turned it to the side, I could work off the other end. Um, so for that, I will be using just a level, uh, just to make sure I have my jaws lined up with the bench because you don't want to be working on something that's, that's too long and have it, you know, collide with the bench. That would be, you know, rather frustrating. So I'd like it to sort of end up in this neighborhood out here where I can put something in the jaws and not have to worry about it colliding with the bench all the time if I'm trying to work on it. I know we're kind of skipping ahead here for a second and the bench vise is already installed, but one thing that I forgot to mention to you before I started working on this is that you need to pick your own bolt length. Um, to do that, all you have to do is measure the width of the bench that you are working with and add in the width of the uh, vise mounting uh, platform itself. Um, for my particular case, it worked out to be a four inch bolt was perfect. Um, so that's where we ended up. All right. We've arrived at the end of my bench. Oh, sorry for knocking everything here. So we've arrived at the end of the bench. Um, there are some small holes here. This was just me uh, guesstimating earlier. Um, now let's try to get everything lined up. Um, I think some of these holes are correct. So like I said, the goal is to be able to use this vise off the front side and off the side of the bench. Um, and I will just use this level just to make sure that I'm lined up with, uh, or that at least the jaws extend beyond the front of the bench. So I just snug it up and it will, it will square itself. It will pull itself up to the front of the bench with the vise and the, uh, the level. Let's check the other side here. That looks pretty good. All 
Hmm. Now, the more I look at this, um, the more I'm considering that if I try to scoot this all the way up to the edge of the bench to work off the opposite side over here, um, I think I'm getting too close to the end of the, the end of the surface here to actually safely drill through it and then put a bolt through it. I think maybe it's best if I just leave it be and just only work off the front side uh, with long, with long, uh, you know, material. And uh, it may just be something that I'll just have to overcome in the future and work around if I need to. Because I definitely don't want to ruin the bench in the process of doing this. Um, I am using half inch bolts. Uh, these are approximately half inch holes. So these will fit pretty snug in these mounting holes. Um, but you know, you can also mess up a workbench pretty quickly by putting large holes in places where they don't belong. Uh, let's get started with the drilling. Now to make sure these bolts fit, they do, it's perfect. All right, um, so this other big hole that's here, some of you may be wondering, this is from a lamp actually that the previous owner of this bench had here. Um, this is only drilled just a, like down in, maybe like an inch or so. And there was a little lamp that was on a little post that he would stick in here. Um, I have no need for that, so I am going to put my bench vise over it. Looks like we are pretty well lined up. Let's see how, see how all this fits. like maybe these might need just a little bit of persuasion. They're not getting caught on the metal. It looks like they're getting caught um, just because the angle isn't perfect. Um, let's see here. Might get some persuasion. to hit on that too hard um, so that seemed to all fit in pretty nicely let's work on getting this all bolted up underneath all right so underneath um, I'll be honest I did this damage uh, just now trying to hit this with a hammer um, I think that this uh, caused some of this splintering here um, you know, this can be avoided by uh, maybe over drilling a little bit with these big bolts or just making sure you get your placement better. Um, I don't really think it's going to affect the structure of the bench too much. 
um, but it just doesn't look nice. Uh, so that's on me. That was a beginner error, but hey, this is my first time ever doing this. So we'll, uh, you know, we're just kind of figuring out here together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these washers on and I have a nut to go with it. We'll get this snugged up. Alrighty, so we're gonna get this uh, tightened up here. I just have a uh, three quarter inch socket and an adjustable up on top holding it from spinning. So we'll snug this down a little bit here. Sorry for the bouncing camera here. I have attached to my bench while I'm working on it, which is also a rookie mistake. So I appreciate you working with me here. I'm just getting this tightened up here in just a second. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Um, this bench vise is installed. It's pretty sturdy. I'm not gonna shake it because that'll shake the camera. Um, but it spins all the way around and uh, you can lock it in place with these uh, levers here. Okay, so there's one on either side. So there you go, solid, it will not turn. And let's see if I got this right here. Uh, I can put things in here and it lines up perfectly with the bench. Um, so that way I can you know, clamp projects in here and not worrying about uh, bending anything or breaking stuff if I'm working on something in the vise that happens to be very long. So hope you found this helpful. Um, if you're looking for something like this, like I said, you can get it at Harbor Freight. It should be in the range of like 50 to $60, depending if they're having a sale or not. And you can get coupons for them easy. Um, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Really, uh, really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Um, you know, as you can see, this stuff is pretty straightforward. And, you know, I encourage you to give it a go yourself and not be intimidated by this stuff. This only took me a couple minutes. Uh, the longest part of this was going out and buying it and then getting the bolts to mount it in. Um, you could probably get away with a smaller bolt, maybe like a, um, like a three eighths, um, but a half inch uh, seemed to work pretty well. It might be a little overkill, um, but it definitely does get the job done. So thanks for watching. Take care.